Welcome everybody to our final installment in our keyword research for HubSpotters video series. I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, when the heck are they going to talk about HubSpot? Well, today's the day. We're actually going to show you how to take your master keyword list that you've been building and then dump it into HubSpot. And then we're going to show you how to analyze and choose the low-hanging fruit keywords to target with your content. So let's go ahead and jump right in. You're going to log into your HubSpot account and then you're going to click on the drop-down menu under reports. You're going to click on keywords. And this is going to open up your HubSpot uh, keyword tool. And the first thing we want to do is dump all your keywords into the tool and separate them based on uh, separate them into different campaigns based on where they fit into the buyer's journey. So I want you to click on Add Keywords. Then we want to bring up our master keyword list here, and I've actually um, inserted a table. So what you want to do when you get this uh, keyword spreadsheet is just highlight all the data, click insert, and then click on table, and that'll turn the data into a table. And then what we want to do is we want to um, we want to sort the the first column here by uh, from A to Z, and that's going to bring up your Bofu um, keywords first. So what we want to do is uh, we want to copy all those Bofu keywords. So we'll highlight the keywords and then we'll hit copy and then we'll go back to our HubSpot keyword tool and we'll paste those into the tool. And then we're going to name that campaign Bofu. One second here. And so all these keywords are going to go into your Bofu campaign so you know that these are the keywords that uh, fit into that section of the sales funnel or buyer's journey. Um, I'm not going to add these keywords to our tool because we're almost at our limit here, but all you would do is just hit add keywords and then you'd go through the same process for your MoFu and your Tofu keywords that are um, on this spreadsheet. So the next thing you would do is highlight all the MoFu, copy them, paste them into the tool, and put them in the campaign for MoFu. So then we head back, once that is all done, you've added all your keywords, we head back to the main keyword tool. And we're going to want to export our keywords into a spreadsheet. So what we're going to do is click on the export these keywords link on the right hand side bar here. And we're going to actually wait on that spreadsheet to get to us. Um, HubSpot is going to email that to us. Um, and so I'm going to pause the video until we get that keyword list and I'll, re I'll be right back. So we're back. Um, after taking a closer look at the content marketing keywords, I realized that it wasn't the greatest example. It's kind of a competitive niche and there's not a ton of keywords um, to actually show you the analysis. So I wanted to uh, pick a client's account that had a lot of good keywords in there and, and show you a little bit better example of how we do the analysis. Um, so you're actually looking at a keyword export uh, for one of my clients from HubSpot. We're actually not going to use columns F Um, G, H, or I here. So we delete all those um, columns and then we're going to turn the uh, data into a table. So we want to highlight all the data. Bear with me for a second here. Gonna highlight all the data and then we're going to click on the insert tab here and click on table. We want to make sure my table has headers is checked and then we click OK. Now, now for the analysis. So the idea with this analysis is that we want to find keywords that get a decent amount of search volume, are easier to rank for, so they have a low difficulty level, and or they already are ranking decently in Google. So let's go ahead and start by finding the, uh, the keywords that have a decent um, search volume. So what I want to do is click on the drop down um, menu on monthly searches column and I want to keep everything that gets a hundred visits or more each month. So what I want to do is go to the number filters and I want to do greater than or equal to 100. Click OK and that's going to bring up all the keywords that have uh, monthly search is greater than 100. So I want to actually highlight these in green so I can keep track of these. So I highlight all this this uh, column and then I click on uh, I want to highlight in green. And now I'm going to look for all the keywords that have a difficulty level 
less than 30. So less than or equal to, actually let's do less than or equal to 40. And I want to do the same thing with this, this um, column. I want to highlight these in green so I can keep track of them. And then I want to keep all the keywords that rank less than or equal to 25. And I'll highlight these in green also. So the ones, what we're looking for is the ones that have the most green are our lowest hanging fruit keywords and our best targets. So we want keywords that have a lot of search volume and also that we rank in the top 25 for. So for instance, a great keyword is cabins in North Georgia. It's got 1,300 searches per month. It's got a difficulty um, level of 39 and we already rank in the top 25 for that keyword. Also a great keyword is cabins in Georgia. Um, it gets 2,900 searches a month and we rank number 12. So this is a really good target keyword. And another thing to look at when you're doing this analysis is look at the actual page that, that uh, ranks for this keyword. So if it's an interior page, um, an, a quick win might be to just point some internal links from some of your other uh, relevant content to this interior page. For instance, this one ranks uh, number 11, so it's on the second page. So it, we would get a lot more traffic just by getting onto that first page. So what we would do is either create some more content that kind of talks about cheap cabins in Helen and then point to this page that's already ranking. That should move the needle and help it get onto that first page. So again, we're just trying to find the keywords that we want to optimize our content with and we're, so that's the high volume con, uh, keywords that have a low difficulty level or are already ranking in the top 25 for those keywords. Another great thing to look at is if we're already getting visits from that keyword. We know that if we move the needle and, and get it to rank a little bit higher, we can increase those visits. So cabins in Georgia is a great keyword term. That is an ideal low-hanging fruit keyword. So I hope you get, I hope this analysis, um, you got a lot of, out of it, and I hope you understand how it works. And that's the end of our keyword research um, series. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, please email me at ron at 98to go. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.